Welcome to Electron Line, and here we're going to see how we can use the concept of the Carnot efficiency, the efficiency of a Carnot engine, to differentiate between the efficiency of a diesel engine versus a gasoline engine. Diesel engines, they run hotter. So what happens is they have a greater compression ratio as they compress the gas to a greater amount, or I should say to a smaller amount in, in a way. The temperature of the gas reaches a much higher temperature than the injector fuel ignited. Uh, well, the fuel gets ignited simply by the heat of the gas, and so therefore the diesel engines operate at higher temperatures, at least at the hot reservoir, and therefore they become more efficient, and we'll see in just a moment how that works. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the Carnot efficiency of both the diesel engine and the gasoline engine, compare them to each other, and then see what that really means. So again, the efficiency, Carnot efficiency, is equal to T hot minus T cold divided by T hot. So for the diesel engine, that would be 900 Kelvin minus 500 Kelvin divided by 900 Kelvin. And of course, that would be equal to 400 Kelvin divided by 900 Kelvin, which is 4 divided by 9. And let's see what that is equal to. So 4 divided by 9 equals, that would be 44.4%. Now, does that mean that this particular diesel engine is 44.4% efficient? No, it doesn't mean that at all. What that means is that the best the engineers can hope for when they build this diesel engine that's to be operating under those temperatures, that the highest efficiency they could possibly obtain would be 44.4%. It'll probably be significantly less than that, but that's the highest they can achieve. For the gasoline engine, again, the efficiency uh, for the Carnot engine would be T hot minus T cold divided by T hot. So in this case, T hot is 750K minus 500K. And of course, these are hypothetical numbers. These are not real numbers, but just to give you a feel for that, divided by 750K. So this would be equal to 250K divided by 750K. And that looks like it's about one third or 33.3%. So again, if you build a gasoline engine, they don't run as, at as high a temperature as diesel engines. So therefore, their maximum possible efficiency you can obtain with the gasoline engine is 33.3%. In reality, they may only get about 25% out of the engine. With the diesel engine, maybe the maximum they get is 35, 37%. But at least you can see that the maximum efficiency you can obtain is limited by the Carnot engine by the theoretical Carnot engine which is determined by the temperatures at which the engine operates and that's how you do that.